Hi there, I'm, my name is Brian Kelly. I'm a volunteer with the Morris Federation and this is a, based on a talk I gave at a Zoom workshop for the Morris Federation earlier today, 15th of January 2023. If you're listening to this, you're probably a Morris dancer, a saw dancer, some other form of traditional dancer, or maybe a musician, and you want to make effective use of IT to support your side. In particular, you probably want your recruitment policies to work to recruit new members to the side. A bit about me, I was initially a rapper dancer, and Betty with the Newcastle Kingsmen since 1978, and various other sword and other sides. Now dance with Haymarket Rapper. In my professional career, I set up a website at Leeds University in 1992, which was one of the first 100 websites around the world. And I became a national web advisor to UK universities for most of my working career. And I'm now a comms and IT volunteer with the Moderates Federation. And I'm pleased to be able to use my professional expertise in this capacity. If you're listening, your biggest interest, strategic interest, will be marketing the side, attracting new members, new musicians, but also to get more bookings from big festivals and also local events, fairs, and the like. You may have some additional interest, operational interest, making an impact on social media, managing. Uh, a side register for bookings, mobile card tools uh, for collections and, and the like. I will cover some of those in a follow up uh, recording. But this talk is about those first strategic interests. The good news is there's your goals. The good news is this is pretty much solved for Morris Federation sides. And I am able to show evidence of the effectiveness of the approaches and it's based on well-known web principles. You may be a, a web expert and know a bit about HTML and WordPress, but you're not necessarily an expert on SEO. It's a related area, but it is something in which expertise is in shorter supply. But we're building on those principles. The good news is you don't need a website. Your site doesn't need a website or a Facebook page and no technical expertise is needed to do what I'll be talking about. The context for this talk was the Jack Worth Morris census in December 2020. What recruitment methods have sides used and word of mouth was popular, but then social media. And the findings were that social media weren't very effective. And I'm going to suggest that that includes the more general digital technologies, use of IT. And the problem there is the word of mouth and recruiting friends isn't very inclusive. And we know that Morrisides are aging, so we need an effective way of recruiting new members. And so I started to think, why doesn't, didn't, wasn't digital working? And I understood, I gathered evidence. I understand, and now we're in a position to make digital work. This talk is based upon the IT resources area of the Morris Federation website, and in particular, and so if you go to the Morris Fed website, resource and IT resources, and here's an important one, updating your Morris Fed team finder profile. Scroll down a bit more using Google search profile, getting to the top of your Morris site to the top of Google, and using hash sites, hash tags for your Morris side. So this was work I was initially carrying out in autumn, November, and into 2022. And then during the summer, I started to gain evidence. So this was surveys to see if my advice was working or and reasons why things weren't working. So there's a series of serv surveys there, Google coverage, page ranks, hashtags, and uh, survey of Morris team profiles on the first few, on the first page of Google, the first five results, some evidence that the approaches work. So the first thing, gathering evidence, 
if you go to Google and type in site colon and then your site's domain name, it will tell you how many pages Google knows about for, for that site. So back in last March 22, did this for the MorrisFed website and there were about 698 results. A few days ago, it was up to 1,250 results. So more pages that Google know about and many of those new pages were team finder profile pages, information about your team, which is now in the Morris Fed website. So I carried out that survey for the Morris Fed website, but then more importantly, for all Morris Fed sides with a website. So I did this March 2022, analyzed 319 Morris Fed sites, and I discovered why IT wasn't working for recruitment because 40 websites had only a single page that was in Google and more had between 2 and 10. A mode, the average was 15 and that would be skewed by the 16 who had many, many over 50 pages. And the way this, this the relevance of this is it's a partial indication of a popularity for Google. A small website will not, is likely to have not many links to the website and therefore Google is likely to give it a low ranking. When I say low ranking, we're talking about something that was originally called Google Page Rank, but now we refer to as Open Page Rank. And so there's a website, Google Open Page Rank, and you can type in domain names and it will give you the page rank on a scale of zero to 10. And the higher your page rank, the better it is for Google. A high rank will have various characteristics, including lots of links from websites. Those websites will have lots of themse links themselves and there'll be high traffic from those websites. Sorry for the typo. And so most sides were kind of there and the feds and one or two sites were up here. Now, you might think, oh, well, it's easy to jump from three to four. It's a bit like if you were doing um, your GCSEs and you got a, a three, you might say, oh, well, if I study hard, I should be able to go up to a four or, or the like. But that's not the case because this is a logarithmic scale, not a linear scale. So if you think on a scale of one to ten, how close are two to four? Well, I'll be able to, if I work hard, to go from two up to three and then four. But if I was to say how close are 10 to the power two and 10 to the power four, they're quite far apart. And this is kind of, not quite, how a logarithmic scale works. So if you look at the powers there, you can say between 10 to the two, it's 100, and 10 to the five, it's 100,000. You're not going to leak up from 100 to 100,000. Um, you can't really see down at the bottom here, unfortunately, um, but there's a flat bit there, and this is where most Fed websites are. And if you go up a bit, you get the Morris Fed website. And so we're on the start of this, and up at the top, you've got the BBC and Wikipedia. So, recap most websites are small, only a few websites to link to, page ranks are low. I've got the evidence, it's all there, the evidence is there. Therefore, Google search will typically not show the results for general search searches near the top of a page of results. It might get, it might be there if it's your name, but if a general I'm looking for a local Morris side, no, your site won't be there. So what can be done? You can say, all oh, right, we're gonna have a huge website and lots of links. Well, no. That's very, very costly and very, very difficult. Or you can exploit links from a popular website with a higher page rank. And this is what I'll be talking about. So the Morris Fed website is a high page rank due to its size. It's got about 13,000 pages on its website. And it's also got some, lots of links to its website. So using this SEMrush tool, you'll see that there are 2.4 thousand links 
to the website from 440 different domains. So for a general Morris query, the Morris Fed website will be, is likely to be near the top of Google search results. For typical queries, so here's some general queries. I want to learn Morris dancing, or I'm looking for a vibrant Morris side for my festival. So you need to think about the type of general queries that potential new members, new recruits, uh, people looking for your side will ask. Or there might be some specific queries. I saw such and such Morris side down the pub last night, thought they were great, want to know more about them. Or they might have a hashtag. I saw hash old fogies Morris yesterday. Oh, I'd love to see some videos of them because they're great. Or here's one I like. I saw a rapper side which performed a double asymmetric somersault. Now, can that find a specific sign? And of course the answer is yes. And I have the evidence and the evidence is freely available on the web. So you can type in these search queries for yourself. I'll not do it for live in this PowerPoint presentation. But if you type in looking for a mixed Northwest clog side from in Worthing and you type that in first place, you get temporary measured, some other general queries, specific side. If you type in Wimbury clog, just Wimbury clog, you should get the, the profile in the Morris Fed website at first place. And similarly, all of these other sides have or had when I carried out this survey last year profile in the top five results. So that's based upon location, side name, a few more, go into a wrapper side which, which doubled sub asymmetric somersault and Northgate wrapper is in first place. Great. So just those few words and something spectacular and there you are up at the top. Um, another first place <coughs> Cat's Eye Morris are doing really well. Fast based Morris side who dance in black waistcoats, blah, blah, blah. First place. So that's based on characteristics, kit, side hashtag, hash Sally Port, hash Northgate wrapper, etc. These all work. But as well as finding the textual summary containing those words, you can also find videos. And so here's an interesting one. A video is in first place if you do a search for the side's name, Southern Star, performing the name of the dance in particular location, in particular year, and you get the video. Now I should say you get the video because there's a textual annotation for the video. Google can't really understand a video, but it can read the text next to that video. And there's some other examples of things and how things were found. But do try these things for yourself. Don't believe me, who's this guy I've just come across on YouTube. Try these things for yourself. So what should you do? Well, initially our advice a year ago was just providing a brief factual summary Blah, 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 Morris are a mixed Morris I based in a town and a county and we dance that and we often say and we welcome new members. But then once we did start to do this and we looked at what people were doing, we discovered it was actually better to have a richer summary. So there's a great one from Riving to Moritz. There's the factual description, a bit of the culture of the sides. Don't refer to these women as ladies or you'll get a famous clog butty, twee they are not, see for yourself. So you get a feel for the side and that is really, really good. And that's what we're looking for these days. And you might be skeptical. Does it really work or am I giving a simplistic overview? Well, let me be honest, two caveats. Google doesn't index everything. It doesn't index repetitive pages with kind of the same content. So every day will be unique. It's got a day and a day of the month, and the day of the, uh, but it won't index these things because Google say, oh, people aren't interested in this. It's all the same. It's boring and repetitive. I will only index pages which are different from other pages and which would appear to seem to be interesting. And so if you look at the team finder profile, 
you'll find that still quite a number of them are repetitive. So they have a name, a side name, a dance side, and the name repeated there. And that's pretty similar for this for this side. So Google may well not index those. It needs them to be significantly different. So it won't prioritize indexing of those pages. Sometimes the pages are indexed, but it will look at them and say, oh, here's another one, it's the same. I'll not index it. Whereas the Kingsman page, look, this is quite clearly unique. So Google will come along, we'll be able to pause it, we'll be able to pick out keywords, we'll get a feel for the subject area, some automatic um, analysis of the content. So the history, a bit about the dance, where they're based, what they're doing today, competitions they've been at, and then a series of hashtags. So that's what we're looking for. Wouldn't it be great if almost 500 sites in the Morris Fed all had this type of information, which was all unique, different, some things in common, but other things are specific to the particular site. That would be good for your side and it'd be good for the Morris community. And the other caveat I should say, you update this and you hope Google will try a Google search and it's not found because it does take time for Google to index that new page for the first time or re-index page. And this can be several weeks. But something I can do is I can manually go into a page such as this team profile page and say request index. It will say this was last crawled a few weeks ago. And I says, oh, well, it's been updated. Will you re-index? And then maybe in a few weeks, that will be re-indexed. So it does take six weeks, say two months, who knows? It should get better as there's more rich content there. But if you want your pages to be easily found for the 1st of May, start doing it now, please. So what do you do? If you've got the accounts, your team should have an account for the Morris Fed website. So go into the members area, sign in, and then if you can't remember your password, ask for a new one, it will give you a numeric num code. You can change that to something more memorable. I might share that amongst officers of the side. You can go in, click on your membership, and then you come here and click on update details. We'll try and make this a bit easier shortly. And then you go there, scroll down, and there's your about your team. And this is when people may think that you can only fill in that box, but you can actually, sorry, it's covered by my photo. You can drag the box so it expands and then you can type in this rich description, press save, and then go into team videos, add some links to videos and annotate those videos. Remember Southern Star dancing such and such a day at Pool Harbor in 2019. These will be the words that Google will associate with these various videos and then repeat for picture gallery. And that's all you need to do. If you do this, uh, say before the end of January, send me an email when you've done it and I'll go through and I will tell Google to re manually re-index that page. And if you're still skeptical, does it really work? This was taken yesterday, I think. So over the past year, a biz is a team profile, and this was a link of the top 500 pages that Google delivered traffic to. 238 of those were biz pages, were team profile pages. So the first set are about team finders, so people are interested in finding teams and they get traffic for that. And then what is dancing and some of the events and the like. And then there's a whole cluster of some of the more popular team profiles. And who are the most popular? Cat's Eye, I mentioned, Newcastle Kingsman, which had that really long and useful description and clerical error. So you do this and you should be at the start near the top. And of this popular website. And then once we built this rich database, which is indexed by Google,
we can start to do more. If you go to this bit.ly slash mf hyphen team finder hyphen 2022, you'll get a search interface just of the team finder profiles. By default, it's set up to search for Morris. And the first thing you'll notice is which one, if you're a casual user, would you click on? That's the one with the with the image. So images are really, really valuable. They help deliver traffic. But then if I do a different search, so you can search for types of dance or regions or blah, 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 I typed in London. So it says there are 19 results for London. And again, the top two results have images or maybe videos. And look, a rich description known for our trademark red and white strap corsets and bet layer. We are a London blah, blah, blah. So that's Bells of London City, uh, Black Horse and Standard Northwest. We are a women's side, blah, blah, blah. As opposed to just this location information. So the rich description and images and videos is really, really valuable. So I would say go to here and have an explore. Try in various search terms. And when I tried this, I thought, I'm sure there's more sites than 19. And some of these sites will have multiple entries because they've got description on a video and photos. So let me explain what I mean by that. Um, so a next step, once we've got that rich database, we can start to embed that search interface into folk festival websites. So this is on the Bridport Folk Festival website. So it's a page there which has some videos of some of the Morris Fed sites. You do a search for London, you get, so as I said before, so you're not having to tell everyone, go to this bit.ly, this long URL, which you're gonna forget, it's there on a folk festival website. Imagine if every folk festival in the country had this content. But then I did a search for Westminster. And what did I find? There's an entry for Westminster Morris, but not there on the research for London because it's got there as addresses Westminster Morris, Westminster EC, whatever. Doesn't mention that word London, so Google won't know about it. So go through to this to the Bitly website, search for your side, then search for things which should get your side. And if your site's not there, well, maybe you update your content. So if you do a niche dance, the stave dancing, I think if you try and do a, state, a search for stave dance, there's only one side there or an ace on stance. But all of those type of things, it might be the thing that your site is best known for. So make sure it's there in your team profile. So. This would be great if we had this interface everywhere. It would be good for the festival. It's more content and it's got some interactivity and it's obviously good for sides, and good for the Morris community. But we need more content and we need accurate and relevant content. Now I've been describing these are things that all you need to do is to fill in some text on your Morris Fed team profile and then upload some images. But you might also have a website for your site, and this can still be important because it will be referenced in the festival program, local newspaper, people type these things on. And it can also have more up-to-date information and comprehensive information than the team finder profile. So they both work together, but the one that people find in Google will, will always be really, I would say, the team finder profile. But your website, make sure it works, because if your website is full of broken links, Google will say, lots of broken links. I'm going to put that down at bottom page 100 on, on the results, because it's nobody will get, people get annoyed by going to that. Um, make sure it works. Do that site colon to make sure that Google has indexed all of the, the relevant pages on your website. If not, feel free to drop me a, a message and I'll try and see if I can fix something. I've noticed there can be problems with websites hosted on Wix, the Wix tool, for example. And I have a link to the Morris Fed website. Let me explain. 
If we have lots of links to the Morris Fed website, the Morris Fed website will be higher. And as we deliver traffic to your website, that's a win-win all around. So if you have something like this, you're proud members of the Morris Fed, that's great. But even better would be if you say, you can see our team's profile and have that link to your team finder profile and a link to the team finder search. So if somebody's looking to join a Morris site, they've come to your website, but you're in the wrong part of the country, but they can click on this and then search for the wider set of things. So that's kind of working together. And I am going to finish there. If you have any questions, comments, look in the comments field below. Uh, I will add some links in the comments field below. So thank you and goodbye.